Well, hello again, folks. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I put up my last video, but uh, life has gotten real busy around here. And it looks like we're going to get some real serious weather over the next few days. So we'll see how things go. But anyway, I just wanted to do a really quick video of a couple of things that just basically came in the door. This came in the day before yesterday. This came in yesterday. Uh, this one I had, uh, I had to use it. I was waiting for it, chopping it at the bit. Um, and I, so I took it out of the box, put the batteries in and I tried it out. And the main reason I got this was for, for doing non-contact current measurements. Um, mostly I'll probably use it for AC, but uh, it also has the capability of doing DC. Uh, the DC, there's a bit of an issue with it that I've noticed so far. Uh, and I'll show you that right now. So here's the meter. It comes with this nice little case. It comes with a, a, a set of, um, instructions that are, are, are all Chinese to me. Um, so basically I'm going to have to guess at, at how to use the thing, but I don't think it's going to be that hard to figure it out. I mean, here it is. It's a, a nice little meter. It's very well made. It, it, it's, it's got some weight to it. It, uh, it, it it's so solid, solid feeling. And uh, it, it looks like it's very simple to use. So you have a set of probes comes with it. Nice little case, as I said. The probes are pretty good. They're nothing to really write home about, but they have fairly soft PVC uh, cables on them. And the probes are a nice size. They fit the hand well. They have these little protective sleeves on that can be removed and put back on depending on what sort of thing you're probing. And the unit itself can measure volts, AC and DC, ohms, capacitance, diodes, continuity, and I'll probably never use it for those unless one of my other meters is completely out of operation. Um, but it does do the non-contact amps in both AC and DC. It's got ranges from all the way from two amps up to a hundred amps. And it's got a really nice non-contact voltage feature, which is actually pretty sensitive. So this, this like anywhere near AC, you can hear it in the background. It's, it's reacting to it. So yeah, it, it's, it's pretty good. DC is not so good at it, but, um, AC is, is, is really, really sensitive. It's, it's the best meter I have for that particular purpose. Now here's the, here's the, um, the DC. I'm not going to show you the AC today, but, uh, we will over, over time, we'll, we'll use this meter for various things. But today I'm just going to show you one of the little problems I have, uh, with the, measurement of DC current. So through this little wire here, I have exactly one half an amp, actually 0.51 amps going through it. And it's not too bad when you get up around that range. Um, so we're measuring here 0 0.466 or 465, which is pretty close to the 0 0.51. But let's say I, I reduce that a little bit. So I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to bring it down to like 50 milliamps. And we see that it, it's nowhere near accurate. I mean, it, it's, it's reading three milliamps. So you just have to be aware that uh, for DC current, and it's actually dropped off to nothing now, for DC current, you have to have a reasonable amount of current for it to, to recognize that the current is flowing. One other issue I noticed with the two, like if you change it, like if I have it on DC here, and if I change ranges and go to the next range up, it goes back to AC. So you have to click on DC again if you're measuring DC. But anyway, so that's the little Unity. And we put that aside for now. And uh, let's, let's cut into this thing. This is something I saw on a channel called uh, Kiss Audio. Uh, I'll provide a link for that. He, he goes into a really good, very deep uh, review of this meter. So I'm not going to bother going too deep with it since he's much better at that than I am anyway. Uh, so this is the new Kweets HT118E. Now they've had the 118A out for quite a few years now. And it's a pretty decent meter. In fact, when I was looking for a meter for our cheap kit, um, the HT118A was one I considered, but I just thought that this had a couple of features that the HT118 did not have, 
Um, although, uh, you know, there's some disappointments with this that we'll discuss at some point in the future. And, but let's get into this and see how it compares. Now, cost-wise, it's a little bit more expensive than this meter. But this meter, uh, we got ours for about 25 bucks. Um, they're now running around 32 to 36 dollars. So considering that this one running in the 41 to 42 dollar range with discounts is uh, price-wise is pretty close competition. And let's have a look at it to see if it. Uh, if it competes in other areas too. First of all, it's a far more substantial meter. I can just tell by, by the weight of this package here. And it comes with an, a very nice case. This, this case is really nice. It comes with instructions that are in English. That's nice too. Let's see what these, uh, these are like. It seems to come with the, the regular complement of, of, of uh, items and batteries. The temperature probe and the voltage probes. Let's have a look at these. Get them out of their bag. Uh, they're okay. They're they're pretty stiff. They're they're PVC. They're stiffer than the ones that were, came with the Uni T. That's for sure. And uh, you can't compare it to what you'd get with a, like a Bryman or a Fluke or something like that. They are a little bit nicer though than the ones that came with the cheap meter. Which are these. They're a little bit heavier and uh, about the same stiffness. But uh, the, the extra weight of them is a little bit more robust. So put those aside for a second and let's get the meter out. So this is a nice bag. It's fairly well padded. It's not a it's not a, a, a hard case at all. So it'll only offer minimum protection, but it's it's keep the dust off the meter anyway. Well, this is a far more substantial meter than this. It's got a much larger display. It's got a, a more traditional control on it. It's very free turning and it locates well. Nice snappy response. The buttons feel pretty good. Or typical rubber chiclets and it's got uh, what looks like a, a rubber shroud around it which looks like it might be detachable it's fairly hard rubber it's not soft like you did you'd get with um, a more expensive meter tilting bale on the back of it let's move this stuff aside for a second uh, it is kind of angled back a little bit far. Let's see how this one compares. How about the same? This one, by the way, is, 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 is a little bit unstable. This one's far more stable. And you can operate it nicely with, with, with the bailout. Let's get some batteries and see how it works. So we'll presume we go in through this route. batteries in that's nice it's a uh, screw is semi captive I think no it's not captive the bale and the back come off but it does screw into a nice uh, brass insert there so replacing batteries frequently if you have to is not going to wear it out let's use the batteries that came with it for now I'll probably end up using lithium batteries in this it's pretty nice that it has the double-a batteries they're a lot more economical to use, have a lot more energy in them, and are generally a much better deal than the AAA batteries. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn it on. That's very nice. Here's a, a feature that was that was brought out in the older model. Is in, in that when, when you switch it on, um, it tells you what where to put the probes based on where you have the switches turn so all these ranges here will plug into these but once you get up to the current ranges that'll change and if you get up into the high amp range you've got cross here like this and the ncv of course is uh oh that's that's actually detected the dc current that's going through that wire that's not bad oh well it was let's see what about over here 
Oh yeah, it detects the AC fairly well too. All right. Okay, well, that was just a very, very brief look at uh, the, this meter and uh, the UNI-T um, little clamp meter. Uh, I'm gonna link to um, Kiss, Kiss Audio's review of this. He does a, a very, very in-depth review of it, and, and uh, he's got experience with the older model as well, and he compares the two. And he also compares it with some fluke meters, which may not be a fair comparison, especially not price-wise. I mean, this is this is uh, just a bit over forty dollars. I think I paid forty-one dollars or something like that for it. Um, so it's it's a very inexpensive meter, and you know, it, 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 you know he'll go through all the features over there, and uh, I'll feature it in some of the the future uh, videos that I do, so you can see it in use. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the meter like uh, I think you know it's, it's well worth that kind of money um, anyway go over here go over to uh, Kiss Audio's um, detailed look at it he, he takes it apart and has a look inside and see how well it's constructed in there as well so yeah thank you very much for joining me bye bye